Yes! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna go over my Gersan MC28SA 9mm. So as you guys already know, I picked this pistol up last year. Now, I wanted to do an update review on this gun today um, after, you know, about a year's worth of ownership on this gun. Now, here's the thing, okay? Because I'm at an outdoor range and we have winter like eight months out of the year here in Manitoba. So our range actually closes, or th at least this range, outdoor range closes over the winter time. So I've only been able to take it out for actual live fire uh, pretty much just a handful of times. Now, real quick, number one, the main issue that I had the last time when I first picked it up, which was last year. And if you guys haven't seen my initial review video on this Gersan, I'm going to put the link up here um, on the top, uh, top right of your screen. And also I'm going to put it in the description down below as well. Um, but check that uh, first review video out of this gun. That was my initial thoughts and review. Today is going to be basically a one year ownership update of this gun. Real quick though, the main thing that I had an issue with the last time was the sights. Um, both sights, not just the rear sight, but the front sight, um, kept on coming off. Um, over the past couple times that I used it at the range uh, last year. And so what I did was I put some Loctite on it and I've taken it out probably about three, four times now so far this year since the range opened up in spring and uh, haven't had any issues yet. There hasn't been any play or any move on either of the sites ever since then. So it looks like the Loctite did its job. But yeah, I mean, besides the sites, from the handful of times I've taken it out so far this year, it's been going pretty well. So let's shoot it a few times and then we'll talk about our final thoughts after one year of ownership on this gun. And we'll see if it's worth it for you guys, in my opinion at least, um, if this pistol's been, you know, on your mind, something that you've been thinking about uh, considering getting. So hang tight and we'll do some shooting right away. First shot, 1.26, 0 0.3, 0 0.45, 0 0.25, 0 0.62. Woo, we need some consistency. All right, there we go. First shot, 1.26. Second shot, split time, 0.21. Third shot, and then 0.29, fourth shot. So, that's pretty good. So 1.64 for the first shot if I'm not if you don't carry one in the chamber. 
I don't know where it got the third shot from, but there wasn't a third shot. Anyway, second shot was 2.20. So, cool, cool, cool. But I gotta get an actual shot timer, because I don't think this works very well, but at least it gives you a rough idea, so it's all good. Anyways, let's get back to reviewing this gun final review. All right, guys, now I know that was a fairly quick video, but I mean, this is just an update review on the Gersan anyways. So like I said, if you guys haven't seen my first review video of this gun, I'll put it up here in the uh, info card up above over here on the top right of your screen and it's also going to be linked in the description down below as well so be sure to check that out um, I've been doing some training drill videos and stuff like that just trying to get better at uh, handgun um, in general as well so I'll put the playlist in the description below for that as well if you guys want to check out those other videos but uh, I mean as for today's outing here uh, the gun is still working well the sights are still holding up Sights have not moved, so the Loctite um, does a really good job with uh, fixing that issue with the sights just falling off after, you know, I think it was about 100 shots last year when they first started falling off. Um, now the thing is with the Loctite, be sure that you guys have your sights aligned uh, perfectly before you put the Loctite on there because right now I can't even, if, if like my sights are misaligned, which I think it slightly is, um, if you guys seen my last uh, training drill video of this gun, it was shooting a little bit to the uh, to the left, I think it was. Yeah, to the left. So I think my rear sight wasn't aligned perfectly, but make sure you guys align the sight perfectly before you put the Loctite on there because now I don't even know how to get this Loctite off of there so that I can readjust that rear sight. So, but yeah, I mean the sights have like no play on them right now. The front sight, nothing is nothing is falling off nothing is moving right um the gun itself it's solid it's a really it's a really easy handgun to operate i really like it the best part about it is the price point like i said previously in my last review video of this gun uh, the price point is probably the best part about this gun it's just such a good entry level handguns so if you guys want to get started with handguns uh, but you don't want to spend the money on you know the higher end uh, pistols. Um, I would highly recommend getting yourself a Gersan MC28. Uh, it's just a really good handgun to use for a beginner. So my plan is I probably will upgrade at some point. Um, I wanted to pick up this gun here because it was cheap so it was an easy entry point for me to get into uh, pistol shooting and uh, you know build up my fundamentals and my skill set with a pistol and uh, I think eventually later on I will probably upgrade. Um, still on the fence in between uh, m and uh, or a Glock. Anyways, that's uh, a little bit further down the line in the future anyways. For now, I am really enjoying the Gersan and I'm gonna keep on practicing and shooting with this Gersan. And uh, if you guys have been on the fence about getting one, I'd say definitely worth it. Check it out, try it for yourself. I'm sure you're gonna love it too. Again, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, I do a lot of other gun review videos. Um, I've been doing some training drill videos here at the range as well, uh, both with pistol and carbine. I also do long range shooting and I got a playlist on that. I'm going to put all those things down below in the description. So if you guys want to check out my other content, feel free to do so. And if you guys like my content, please, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate that. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up like the video, comment on it, let me know what you think, and uh, share it with your friends and family as well. Um, I enjoy making videos for you guys, so help me keep this going. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!